people welcome back to my youtube channel Elliot Wave Principal I'm your host Shaheen we had a stunning day yesterday and uh, we will continue our analysis on gold and silver uh, if you are interested in seeing where exactly uh, we are going to see tops and bottoms uh, I'm going to provide a video in the description I've already uh, posted that video on uh, my youtube channel it was uh, analysis uh, around 30th April 2023 so in that particular video uh, and I see I probably uh, analyzed that we are going to actually I forecast actually that we are going to see a top around um, 10th uh, from 9th to 12th of October so there's a little misprint when you see the top it's not in September it's in October I do say in October but there's a writing on the on the screen it says September but it is actually October so if you have missed it um, please do understand that we need to understand where the labeling is so we can actually find uh, trading opportunities in gold and silver we are going to discuss that both we have seen some prior pri price action yesterday and we'll talk about that so let's continue first of all we need to go on a daily time frame analysis and uh, the price has moved um, awesome in an awesome way we were expecting a bottom to be formed in on May 1 and that's exactly what we have seen and after that I, I have told you guys that your whole May is expected to be uh, bullish so we are seeing that right now the big question is that okay we are to go upwards um, then what is the probably the the path of the um, the price in terms of Elliott wave analysis I guess that we have only completed wave one two three and four and wave five is still going on and within wave five we ha are going to see the wave five extension that means the prices are going to be way over the top instead of completing somewhere over here and then coming down and making a larger correction that's what my, my parallel studies that I do on WDGN analysis is also indicating that we are also actually going to see a long run till October uh, 9th to 12th <coughs> so pretty good much we have four or five months left of the, um, price data <coughs> I gave a top uh, give me a moment please So in my analysis, I gave a top of uh, 25.41. Okay, uh, could that uh, be actually? I think the top is going to be somewhere around. So could the, the top be around just 2,500, or it can actually push push to 3,000? There is good possibility that the top of the fifth wave can actually push to 3,000. That means that we'll be seeing um, gold jump quite a bit until October. This is quite a dramatic rise, and we are have interesting very interesting trading opportunities and we need to make sure that we are on the right side of the market so this is the the labeling that I'm looking at right now I'm expecting that wave 3 first we were expecting that okay it's gonna be probably 150 time uh, percent 1.5 percent uh, 1.5 times or 150 percent of the previous wave and just because of the price action yesterday I have uh, decided to use 2.25 uh, percent uh, for for wave three and then wave five is just a bit lower than wave three which is I have decided to use 200 percent these digits are random uh, just a common observation they can exactly be wrong but as far as the bullish trend is concerned that's exactly right we are in bullish trend in in gold and silver and we are going to uh, see the top around 9 to 10 and uh, 9 to 12 October of 2023 so we have quite a bit of time left for the prices to go on that was one reason I had to push the data up another reason was uh, the price movement that we have seen in gold alone yesterday we have seen a bit of correction coming in so we do not uh, need to get disheartened uh, the trading is, is is very good right now for some of the people who actually missed the uh, missed the trend uh, right over here a lot of people were saying that they're expecting the price to go downward initially I was th thinking too but that is not the case so for the people who missed the trend today's correction that actually started from uh, right after the move ended over so it is is a very good correction for people who are going to be long right so let's have a look on an hourly time frame and see what's happening on an hourly time frame okay first of all the basic if you look at it this is the range right over here price went up and we have seen a correction forming of uh, right over here too another thing is that when prices came down we haven't uncrossed the previous low right over here this was an important low considering that the prices came out of the range right over here and price was sitting on, on top of it another important factor that you guys look at it is that if you measure this is almost 
um, you know this is a strong wave and this is another strong wave so I do not know where to and I'm telling you guys honestly because the price section is so messed up I'm not going to use smaller degree time frame analysis uh, or Elliott wave lib I'm not going to use smaller wave 1 and 2 and then say okay another wave 1 and 2 and this is wave 3 then UI ask okay why is the wave correction so deeper so in that in the scenario where the price is you know that the, the trend is going to be bullish all you need to know and uh, be interested in is where the correction is falling in and for that to do uh, we are seeing a very beautiful pattern uh, it's called a zigzag pattern in which wave A is sharper and wave B of course being a correction wave C is uh, took its time right over here so I'm considering that this is a proper A wave A and this is wave V and then we have seen a 5 wave correction and it's, it's a beautiful uh, trading setup on its own so we can call it wave A right over here wave B right over here and then wave C right over here if you're having trouble we can clearly see that this is start of the 5 wave structure right over here 1 2 3 4 and five and as soon as the structure was complete we have seen the price has gone up correction deeper and then prices move up uh, do not consider it as a triangle because as soon as you start considering it a triangle it gives you an option that we are completing a five hip structure keep in mind that we have seen a, a correction and then we have seen an impulsive wave and a correction and we are in a bullish trend so just keep your focus towards on the bulls and that's what it is I had a position open right definitely when I told you guys that I was bullish I had a position open straight away but I haven't taken out that position the reason is I want to play along and see how far this price movement goes on so I'm expecting and that we are going to see bullish move right now all the way over here and the initial price action is giving some clue uh, whether the price is going to be stronger it is going to be definitely bullish that's what I'm looking at right now uh, can it turn down and then go up it can definitely do so so to help us with that we do not need to put use this structure as uh, a trading shift we can use this structure as uh, opportunity uh, for people who missed the trend at the beginning so if you are joining right over here do not use the stop loss right over here this is could be this could be disastrous or over here uh, if you are really desperate use this one and I would still not advise one I would advise for a stop loss right over here which is at 1980 and it will it is right now seems like it's a bit too far it will give you a uh, peace of mind and you'll be able to stay in the trade so small trade a uh, small trading units uh, and uh, going long for a longer period of time is definitely to stay with the trend and see how it falls out instead of going in and out daily we are expecting a top to be formed in somewhere around um, and once again I'm going to refer that video uh, at the end of this video and then uh, at in the description page as well in the description of this video as well we are expected to see a top in about you know, from the start of it from start of the data right over here or over here about 11 to 12 days we are going to see the top and we have only completed three days of data right for um, till today so that tells us that we have quite a bit <coughs> time left for the for the top before we can actually see uh, a correction on time based on the daily time frame chart so this is what I mean So if you look at the chart, I'm going to delete this whole mumbo jumbo so we can actually make sense of it. So if you look at the chart, all that correction is hidden. 15 minute, 5 minute chart is hidden. If you look at the chart, it tells you that okay, the price went in and then it's seen reflection and I give you the reason why it's seen has reflection as much as it has seen. Uh, we'll look at it, uh, but it is still bullish. If you look at the price price is still staying above this one top right now or around that top and this is not the top right mid over here and definitely we have seen a side wave correction um, that went on for a good couple of weeks I think so so it has uh, done that now why we have seen the rejection so much is because we are dealing with the historical tops right now okay and back in uh, right over here as well so we are talking about historical top and the price is rejected in that area that's the reason uh, we are seeing a bit of rejection but the price is still holding it's not like that the day has turned bearish the bay the day has a uh, kind of was bullish we can see a little bit of price action going up initial rejection but I think this will continue on so this price action when we have seen a rejection seems very important 
could it be possible that we are actually going to go up and then see a correction right over here there is a possibility another possibility is that price actually goes above that and creates a structure right over here once again those structures with intraday trading are not tradable when you are looking at such a long trend they're not tradable your focus is to that okay you, you are supposed to enter over here and okay the price you did not enter here and okay the price is right now here so instead of entering from over here you want to uh, focus on that okay I want to put stop loss right over here and trade on and this is the you look at the price data starting from all the way over it tells you that this is the closest low that we have all right so it is all the is all the matter of perspective I'm bullish on gold still we have Friday left and I think Friday is going to be bullish <coughs> Till the mid of next week, we are going to see probably two, three days, maybe three, uh, two to four days or five days of bearish price action or sideway price action. So bearish price action or sideway price action, we are not sure which one is this, but we are going to see a, a break in the price movement. And then we are going to see prices, a top coming around in around 11 to 12 days. And then we'll see another uh, three, four days of price action. So if you have missed it, this is what I'm expecting in terms of, uh, let's have a look. We can see so I'm expecting that okay we are going to see bullish price action <coughs> excuse me so we are going to see bullish price action for about I would say five ish days and we have already completed three days of data that means we are expected to see another two days of price going up after that we are expected to see probably about three days of correction or side waves and after that we are going to see uh, a top being formed right over here some kind of behavior like that and this is once again this top is the one that I have forecasted these smaller waves are a little too much we are unable to at least I'm unable to give a forecast for that smaller waves but this one I have given that the top is expected in about two weeks time from this bottom right over here and after that we are going to see a good sizable correction and then you'll go up again all right so this is pretty interesting I'm still bullish on gold and silver nothing has changed I've given you the long-term uh, analysis so that it helps you uh, stay positive uh, being retail trader and uh, myself we are very impatient in nature uh, because we want to do five minute charts and 15 minute charts and that's not how things work a lot of accumulation had to occur right over here imagine a lot of accumulation had to occur and everybody was almost all retailers were bearish they were expecting okay we have a, a b at the triangle and then we are going to go down somewhere over here and then go up as well uh, it did not happen in the last moment last two three days i realized that that's not going to happen and that's when i did a forecast that we are going to turn upward and that has turned out to be beautifully correctly uh, right so i'm still bullish on gold uh, given the, uh, and nothing has changed with that let's have a look on silver silver is doing even better uh, as compared to gold now I'm sorry the price actually did not go the way you're we expecting uh, I mean a lot of people were bearish and wanted to mm, see the price downward uh, I don't think so it's gonna go downward I'm bi I'm bullish on on silver and gold and I told you guys that we were expecting bullish price action in gold and silver and we have seen the three days a beautiful three days of price right over here so this data is going to continue and then uh, about another two days after two three uh, like two days of data that is makes it five days of data on the top we are expected to see some sort of side wave correction or on the downward correction that will give us a pause if you do not want to enter in the market in that case that we will also be crossing the, this particular top so that's up to you if you want to wait another two days and see a pullback waiting another three days that give, that will give you a trading opportunity to go long as well all right it's up to you let's have a look on hourly uh, this is let me show you what I'm sh what the labeling is so you guys are actually if some of you guys have missed the trading um, once again <coughs> we have used pretty basic kind of um, extension units we are considering that wave 3 is going to be probably 1.5 uh, times of wave 1 it can definitely be 2.5 percent uh, 2.5 times or 2.25 percent or 300 times <coughs> 300 percent of wave one so this is just a basic idea of that we are going to be bullish right now we had do not have enough data we, we can say that okay how long wave C wave 3 can go so we can only use an estimate <coughs> that is still pushing uh, and if this is right that is still pushing silver to either 40 dollar 
or uh, 44 dollar by october uh, and this is right over here by 10th 9th to 12th october or uh, we are going to see uh, silver that's just a massive increase in price we will be almost doubling in price uh, for what we are right now and imagine uh, the premium uh, the value or in the open market at that time a lot of people even including myself I do not want to go that five six extra dollars for silver bullion um, because rightly so if you are interested and in, this is in an if you guys are interested you I'm not sure how the uh, the policy works for especially people who are living in in Canada and in America I'm from Pakistan originally and uh, silver is selling at its original price at the at the price which is we are seeing right now silver is still selling right now let's right now in Pakistan silver is still selling at at the market price is there is no premier of uh, five six seven dollars per ounce in there so I'm not sure uh, how the uh, import duties are going to be for that you might want to look into that plus the silver that Pakistan is, is available in that area is not in shape of coins it's 100 percent bullion but they comes in a small of uh, uh, like um, like finger bars so bars of uh, size of fingers they call it fingers over there I think so I'm not sure what's the right term they use over there but it's a hundred percent I checked that yesterday uh, from my brother and he still checked it and the prices are still uh, good so you might want to do if you do want to want to use uh, five six dollars or you want to pay five six dollars per ounce then you might want to like let's say if you want to do in very large quantities so this is you might look into other uh, countries I'm not sure how things are selling in Mexico you want to look in that but in US in Canada the premier over coins is massive I'm still not willing to pay six dollars on top of an ounce of a silver uh, so this is uh, this is the chart in front of us let's have a look on a uh, hourly time frame chart see if you can actually find some interesting data okay so we have seen once again then this is uh, we do we do see a lot of these things when this happened I knew straight away that someone uh, shooted the market up as in a very small amount of period of time then they sold it and then they took benefit of it again so this was completely completely uh, not something regular that you see in the data because this is the range right over here okay once you come out of the range there is no question of coming down and retesting the low again and crossing the range, range again so something definitely right happened over here somebody tried uh, to play dodgy and a lot of people uh, that were unable to actually take benefit of it okay see this is this is garbage transaction uh, with even I didn't used to believe it but looking at the more and more uh, even WD GAN studies this does not fill fill in the uh, the model so when you forget about this one right over here it gives you an, an idea that we came low we stayed in the range and we came low uh, right over here this is a truncated way if a lot of you guys are wondering what the hell happened and why are you unable to make sense of the pattern as well uh, I'll go back to a goal at the end of the video this is the truncated pattern and this is very very messy pattern that we are seeing right now but if you want to still insist on that no this is part of it in that case you can consider it as an A a B right over here a C right over here so some sort of 3 3 5 structure and an expanded flat uh, and then you can say okay we have A B and C uh, from my own studies of WD GAN, I knew that a, a low was coming. That's what I was able to success. Uh, I was successful in in pointing out a low. It has nothing to do with uh, with Elliott wave analysis. I would have been dodged easily, uh, like most of the retail traders got de dodged by a silver low as well. Right now we are uh, kind of at the bottom. We this is the bottom. I'm easily going to consider this as the bottom. If you want to be go long, you do not use to use lows further down. This is a very good low to be used. So I think so. We still had to have crossed this top as well, but I'm still bullish on silver. Nothing has changed in that regard. Let's have a look on 15-minute chart to see if further patterns that we have right over here. So uh, yesterday, as you guys noted, when gold fell down, it fell a bit massively, but then again, it went up massively as well. So silver did not go up massively as 
as much as gold did but it happens it when came down it was reasonable as well so right now we have from this bottom we have a high a higher low a higher high a higher low and high so I guess that we are going to continue this structure we can actually complete a correction right over here but we are expecting further a bullish price action I do not recommend to use this low or this low um, especially if you're really desperate and thin on my thin on capital you can actually use this one but that's still risky the proper stop loss point is this one right over here which is 2460 so I'm not going to label the smallest time frame. I've given you guys the long time frame analysis because if I do label it, it will make sense, not sense. And if, if I try to enforce it, there is a high possibility that you're going to miss the trading opportunity. So we are still bullish on gold and silver and we have good opportunity in, in joining silver trend uh, in, in and in joining gold trend. Wish you good luck with, the, with your uh, trading and have a good one. And once again, I'm expecting two days of more bullish data in silver. And then after that, we're expecting about uh, two to three days of uh, side waves or correction data. So I'm expecting that Friday is going to be bullish. Uh, wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye-bye.